shift our attention over to West Bengal. We are getting in some breaking inputs coming in from West Bengal. We are learning that Partha Chatterjee has been remanded in the ED custody for two days. Chatterjee will be produced before a PMLA court in Kolkata on Monday. Remember, we were telling you about uh, Chatterjee uh, now being presented at the Chief uh, Metropolitan Magistrate Court. And this is what the decision has been, that he's been... Uh, remanded in ED custody for two days. Tracking the story for us is Shogato Mukhopadhyay. Let's quickly go across to Shogato. Uh, Shogato, what do we expect next now? Should we see? Should we uh, prepare ourselves to see Partha Chatterjee at the PMLA court on Monday? Absolutely, that is exactly what is going to be because the remand is uh, only for two days uh, simply because of the fact that the chief metropolitan, the officiating chief Metropo uh, metropolitan magistrate uh, uh, had, uh, had no jurisdiction uh, on, this, uh, on this PMLA case as a result of which uh, she has only, uh, um, uh, you know, Justice Nupur Kuju, uh, who was hearing the case, only remanded Chatterjee in custody for two days until the, the PMLA court is in session and that will early happen on Monday and as a result of which Partha Chatterjee will be produced in court on on Monday I can tell you what the deliberations were at the court when uh, when when the hearing was taking place when the defense lawyers uh, argued that uh, Partha Chatterjee should be granted bail on health grounds he is 70 plus and uh, also the fact that he uh, was uh, you know the, the properties that the ED has attached so far are in no way directly related to uh, to to Partha Chatterjee also the fact that uh, Chatterjee claimed he had no knowledge of those properties which have been attached by the by the enforcement directorate uh, from from Arpita Mukherjee's residence. Um, also, the defence argued that uh, that uh, the case primarily belongs to the CBI and uh, and and ED had no primary jurisdiction. Uh, the, the the CBI the, the ED never even summoned Chatterjee once, uh, you know, for for uh, for examination. Uh, uh, and, and, and only, you know, raided his house and, and, and conducted this arrest. However, uh, the, the, the defense argued that, uh, that uh, the, uh, the court, um, before the court today, uh, that the Calcutta High Court had only authorized the CBI uh, to, to, uh, right. to, con to conduct this investigation. And so far, Partho Chatterjee, who has already been examined twice by the CBI in this particular case, right. has been cooperating uh, with that agency in this particular particular case obviously that did not happen because the ED never gave him the opportunity to uh, to be examined. Right. The, the, uh, the ED, on the other hand, uh, you know, before the court uh, argued that they had sufficient incriminating evidence and they needed Chatterjee to be interrogated in custody for uh, for uh, you know unearthing the larger conspiracy as far as the money movement is concerned. Absolutely, under the uh, current uh, set of arguments, the court has given uh, a two-day remand right. to uh, to the ED for Partho Chatterjee and and he will be produced before a PML court on Monday. Having That's said that, the two-day ED custody is going to be very crucial as far as the ED's investigations are concerned. That money trail, as Shogata was pointing out, will be the highlight of the investigation. They'll be establishing links between Partha Chatterjee and Arpita Mukherjee as well. Uh, with that, let's also quickly listen in 